Here we have something a little bit different. We have 5 times 9 raised to the 5x minus 2. So instead of it being like 5x minus 2 to the 4th power or something like that, instead of x being as our part of our base, it's up in the exponent. So it's going to be the exponent when we do our substitution. It's raised from a base 9 to our u. So instead of u to the 9th, it's not 5x minus 2 raised to the 9th. It's 9 raised to the u. So that just kind of changes our goal. We need to remember some different basic antiderivatives. So with exponentials, we want to make it look like e to the x because we know how to take that antiderivative. The antiderivative e to the x was e to the x plus c. And then our other exponentials, when it had any different base. So this one's base 9 um, we could review with a different base if we need to, just for good measure. Antiderivative of 3x was 3 to the x over ln of 3 plus c. And this one, it's kind of like 9 to the x, except for it's more than just an x up there. So our antiderivative is going to be 9 to the x over ln of 9 plus c. So exponential is just a different rule for antiderivatives. If it's base e, the antiderivative e to the x is e to the x plus c. Antiderivative of any other base is going to be that base to the x over ln of your base. So different looking setup, but we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to figure out what's being manipulated. x with its nearby friends getting manipulated, it's going to be 5x minus 2 because it's up in the exponent. So like if you had an x, a number 3, and you raised it from a base 2. 2 to the 3 is 8. So you've just completely changed the number 3 from raising it from a base. That's what we're doing here. Instead of raising it to a power, we're raising it from a base. So then du dx, the derivative of that, derivative of 5x minus 2 is just 5. And then we need to multiply by dx. And now we're ready for the hard part, the substitution, which looks different for this one because we have an exponential function for the first time. We've done products and quotients, but now we have an exponential to look at. So we have 9 to the exponent is u, subbing in for that part. And then we want to be able to write our du in there just so we're allowed to take the antiderivative. So we have a 5dx left over, which is perfect because we need a 5dx for our du. We don't do anything with it, just like we didn't do anything with the e to the x dx. It didn't affect our antiderivative, but it allows us to work in single variable calculus. So we're in, going to integrate u with respect to u. The antiderivative of 3 to the x was 3 to the x over ln of 3. So this antiderivative of 9 to the u is going to be 9 to the u over ln of 9 plus k. And then our last step is going to be switching back to x's. I'm going to write 9 over ln of 9 plus c and just replace that u that was the exponent with what it is in terms of x. So it's going to be 9 to the 5x minus 2 over ln of 9 plus c as our antiderivative.